Um, I think what piqued my interest on the Board of Equalization is um, just another stick in the back of small businessmen and the taxpayers. Um, so now the government is wanting to take over, uh, they can't completely, but they want to take over many of the functions of the Board of Equalization and put that in bureaucrats' hands. The taxpayers are just starting to find out what's being done to them. So um, I, uh, I've always said that my one and only special interest group that I represented as an elected official, whether that was on the Board of Supervisors or in the legislature, was the taxpaying citizens in California. So I guess I'm still trying to fight for the taxpaying citizens in California, and now I'm trying to fight for even more of them because each uh, Board of Equalization district represents about nine and a half million people. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine that you are uniquely qualified in the sense that one, you worked in the assembly, and you were the assembly leader, and you spent a lot of time traveling the full length of the state, and this district is rather large, so you're very familiar with yeah. you know, the, the constituency that you'd be representing, and they would know you. Yes, hopefully, and you know, also in my time on the Tulare County Board of Supervisors, I served as president of the California State Association of Counties, and believe it or not, uh, some of those colleagues are still serving on boards of supervisors up and down this district, which goes from San Bernardino to the Oregon border. Uh, I mean, it's huge, uh, and so I still have friends out there, and I'm not unfamiliar, not only with the territory, but with the issues. Uh, local government issues, state government issues, in particular small business uh, issues. Um, it's, really, uh, it's really piqued my interest, and it's kind of got me ready to fight again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been out of a political fight, if you will, for, uh, gosh, well, it'll be four years if I'm, if I'm uh, able to be successful in this endeavor. Uh, and, and there's a part of me that's really missed that.